Uh, yeah, wow. Um, uh, we had an incredibly fast start. Uh, we knew coming in that we needed to have a better start than we did a year ago. Um, and uh, that was a little faster than I even thought we could. Uh, we came out and just made a ton of plays right off the bat. Um, guys did a great job coming up with ground balls between the lines. Uh, Jimmy was doing a great job at the face-off X all day long. Um, you know, we got those guys, you know, kind of out of sorts a little bit because we were doing so well on offense uh, against their zone defense, uh, which was a concern for us coming into the game. Uh, but we got them out of it and got them into their man-to-man. -man. These guys played unselfish ball all day long. Um, just so proud. Played good defense. Just all around a uh, great win for, for RIT. Just uh, proud of the guys, proud of the program. Excited for next week. Luke, talk about the quick start. You had the first goal of the game, and before you know it, it was 10-1. Six minutes left in the first quarter. You know, talk about the quick start. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, we don't get it too often, but when it happens, we really capitalize on it, and uh, the boys on the bench really get us going. Um, it's just great to see us pushing the ball real quick. What was the key? I mean, you wanted a quick start, but a 10-1 to 1 quick start is pretty crazy. Like Coach said, uh, Jimmy was excellent on the faceoff. Taylor over here was great on the loose balls. And the boys were just moving, uh, moving the ball backside. Everyone was open, we're communicating. It was great. Taylor, talk a little bit about the defense kind of transition. They really didn't have an answer. Yeah, the defense was lights out today, really. Um, and they're a good group of guys. They can really shoot the ball. But we just wanted it more at the end of the day. And our defense has been tested earlier in the year. and. You know, I thought we did really well, and we were battle tested and ready to go with that on the D side. Yeah. Coach, talk a little bit more about um, just us not really having an answer for anything that you guys are doing today. Uh, well, again, the name of this game is is getting the ball, um, and we got it in a lot of ways today. Um, all of our LSMs, all of our short sticks, did a great job between the lines, and. Uh, when we needed stops, we got stops from our D. We had saves from Hutchie. Uh, we had, uh, I think, 24 for 25 clearing. Uh, I said it yesterday that we need to continue to clear at a high level against a, a high pressure riding team. Uh, Tufts is very high pressure. Uh, the guys stayed composed. Um, yeah, just a, just a great performance. I thought we shot the ball really well today, really confidently. Um, and uh, that, that was from start to finish. Um, so just just a great day overall. A nice team win. So Union on the other side, you know, obviously it was a one goal game this year during the regular season with them. Yeah. Um, obviously you know pretty well. Yep. Just talk about playing. First of all, an all Liberty League final. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it really is amazing. The Liberty League was extremely strong all year. We knew that. Um, we were tested. You know, uh, whether it was RPI, St. Lawrence Union, go down the line. Um, all great teams. Uh, Union's a gritty group. Uh, they're, they're well coached. They're disciplined. Um, you know, they got good face-off play, uh, good goaltending. Uh, they're, they're very good, um, obviously. Uh, so, uh, pretty amazing that uh, we're going to be seeing them. We you know we kind of expected to see them. Um, nothing against St. Lawrence. We kind of expected to see them in the conference championship, and uh, they got upset. Um, so, yeah, it's it's going to be a battle. Uh, it always is with those guys. A bit about Union. Yeah, uh, I mean, for myself, I'm excited. Love to see another Liberty League team in there. I think it's great for the league. Um, and it, it was a close game with them last time. Uh, I mean, you always got to love the close ones. Uh, I think we're ready. Like Jensen said, we're battle tested and we're going to have a good week of practice. We're going to be ready to go. Taylor, talk about going back to Hartford. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, we're just really excited. We don't really care. Um, who we're playing, you know, the focus is on us and making sure that we do what we need to do, not really the other team. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. It's amazing. Coach, talk about last year at this time versus this year at this time. You know, last year was your, yeah, you know, you're getting ready. Go to Hartford, now you're going back to Hartford, kind of. Uh, listen, this is, I just told my son, like, this is amazing. Uh, it's an incredible feeling. Um, definitely gets me emotional. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. It's a long season. These guys grind, grind, grind. Um, it's not something that happens every day. This is this is an accomplishment uh, in in itself. Um, you have to be proud of proud of what you know we've done so far this year. Um, but again, these guys had a goal in mind. Uh, you know, it wasn't to to get to the semis. It wasn't to get to the championship. It was to win it. So 
Uh, I hope we can string together uh, a good week of practice here, uh, enjoy our time together. Uh, we've been talking a lot about just, uh, you know, earning some extra time with each other. Um, these guys uh, all love each other, and it's, uh, it's fun that uh, we'll get to do it in this setting. Um, no different than last year in terms of the excitement level. Uh, you know, we're going to the national championship. I mean, come on, this is, this is as good as it gets.